pay is another day, another day, another day, another day on the work again, right? So today, basically, what we are doing today, as you can see, if you watched the videos before and if you haven't, go ahead and watch the video then, all right? So if you have been watching my videos, you would have seen where we started the casting for the roof, right? However, we never finished that. It never finished in one day. But we never get the opportunity to come back, come do more work until you know, it's a few days after. So we'll come again today. And what we're doing today is basically um, get a few persons to load the board, as they call it, right? So because the fact that they're mixing on the roof, we get, person, we get persons to come today and load the board. So that's... Um, we we'll come back again for deck, for cast the rest of it, the remaining portion of the roof. Um, we know, so we're not a fair, you know, I bring up things from off the ground to the roof. Everything will be already there on the roof. So it make the work easier and go faster. So yeah, people, that's what we're doing now. So, so carry out there and give a few what's going on in the meantime. Of the intro to the pot good. Alright. Alright, okay, I'm gonna show now. So so alright, so basically the decking would have maybe stopped about right there so about halfway the staircase. So would I have all of this middle section left to cast, right? Put up all of that here to leave for cast. And then now, right as we cast that portion, we're we'll going to move to stealing up this section. As you can see, some steel already extend out. So, I, mean, I think we're going to need now one ton load of steel for that little section here. So, this is another bedroom. And, please, bush up people. This is another bedroom and a bathroom. Right, another bedroom and bathroom. So, we go as soon as we finish cast that section, that, is, that portion of the house, then we move to this area. So we we'll move, we'll move to the bedroom, the bathroom, and this back area right here. So this is like a this is a back patio and a little washroom. So we're gonna have a little washroom over the the corner here. I have a little washroom area right here so so as we wash we can just you know set up a line from around this so i'm going to close them so this is basically the back patio so from right there so to right there so would be a little back patio and then the remaining portion would have be the washroom All right so this area the bedroom and the bathroom. You make it so then can break fast. Mm -hmm. So you get the vice cream and squeeze them that way in luck. So my big man is there. It'll work. It'll work on the caravan. Every day that I say, it's all over the place. You put down one big tree now. I read your bar, chop out that road. I should see the and sell it all over the place. You have to turn on work. You have to turn on work. You have to turn on work. You have to This is the room and the bathroom where we're going to start steal up and all of that afterwards. This is the portion of the right here, so we didn't stop with the decking. This is where we stop with the decking. So we are loaded up back again. Let's make things, you know, easier for the men them when they come. Because we did start late the last time, so we never really, you know, get to accomplish much in the day. But I do believe that if we, didn't, if we were able to start earlier, then we would be able to, you know, 
complete the decking or near completion. But all in all, we still I give thanks. So this is what is left to be done. All of the little make a piece here. And definitely I try my best to forget it completed in a in one day. Alright. So as I say, the room now. Yeah. The bathroom there. I look for the next. You can't sit off. And then no. I have the little washroom here. A little space washroom. I don't know. It's very not big. You know, to me, a little bit small, but when I really think about it, measure up the size. I like the machine and all of that kind of the machine, the sink, the counter space, and then some shelf and cupboards at the top. Put in a soap and you know them because up there. And then now we have the rest of the space now as a back patio. Back we are jumping and pull to back side. Yeah, Guys, I have some sweet pepper seed. I'm just cut out a while ago. So, Michael. Just throw them one of the buckets so I don't know if they will grow. Well, more than likely they will grow because most things that we get from over here, so um, we never really plant them like that. We just cook and throw them and them grow. I'm sure you see we have pumpkin. See, we got pumpkin. We have pumpkin on the tree, guys. And we had some big ones the other day. But my husband put the yard and um seem like him cut the vine so so we have one more in there so nice pumpkin so it seemed like him cut the vine and um it start dry up this morning i took one from over here so because the vine dry it now nah, grow got a further so the vine there dry up dry up dry up so some of them never come to um you know maturity so i am going to just well, find someone we can just sprinkle them sweet up a seed here and cover them up i hope that they will grow i see one may have a jelly tree here so i didn't plant some more jelly tree there but people the other day we had Sometime last year, I don't remember exactly when. Without drought, man, mighty God. Whew. No water, everything dry up. See me, I'm a plum tree there, so. This is a orange tree. So, it's an orange. June plum. Jelly coconut. Um, I think this is... I just saw us up our sweet sap. One of them, one of the two. So the pumpkin vine come all the way over here. So, and this one is a sour sap, I believe. We love sour sap, you know, guys. So we we'll plant a lot of sour sap trees, and then we intend to keep them small. My husband, I don't know where my doing so much jackfruit tree, but in plant them here, so same. I go carry them. Go country, go plant some of them. So them grow and plant the seeds. 
and them actually come. So there are quite a few in my beer. And right here we have another, it's another source of tree, I believe. Right over there, so I think that's a plant in our banana. I really don't know the difference, but I know. And then further down there, so now, right down there, I believe, we have another orange tree. So we are going good. We're going on, guys. There's some look a little space for plants. The stuff that we believe nobody now gonna walk up and down too much. Oh, see, I look like this is. I don't know if it's an orange tree this or what, but see, one another little, one another little tree. Here. It look like, it look like maybe orange or sour orange. We not even know, but it look like one of them tree there. So, I and I just I go sprinkle these seeds right here, right here. Now sprinkle them too deep either. If I even won, <laughs> may I whoops a catch. If it's even one. Let's bring them all over the place. And I hope ants and roach and bugs and mites and all of that don't eat them. No way to add our salt fish to the pot. Just season the pot, a little black, black pepper, and all pepper seasoning. You know, we can't understand, guys. Normally, normally when you buy butter beads, you have to try and buy a specific, this specific brand in order to get the soft ones. Because some of us buy that one here and it end up with a tough bean them. This would have more similar to broad bean in terms of the texture. So the texture of this, is it firm? I'm gonna let them be here. Yeah. Let one of them mash out. Alright? So some butter bean you buy, you realize it's firm like this, and some it mash out. I let the one of them mash out. I'm gonna let bean it too hard. Oh, you want 
Yeah, one Bolton. So guys thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe to my channel this is the end of the video guys stay tuned for the next video where i'll share with you the remaining portion of the roof being cast bye thanks for watching